All right, let's try a different circuit experiment. I've already set up uh, my little uh, uh, breadboard here, and I have a, a simpler resistive divider than the last time, just two uh, 10K resistors, so I can divide the voltage in half. So on this end over here, I have uh, put my D6 output from right there, okay? So I'm gonna get uh, the 3.3 or zero volts applied here at this end. On the other end of this thing, I, I have a wire that goes over to ground over here. So that is uh, the way that I'm going to energize and measure and uh, the, the resistive divider. And then I'm measuring voltages using A7 and A8. A7 just goes to the input right here. So that's just going to uh, show when the voltage goes between zero and high. And then uh, A8 goes to the center here between the resistors. And so I should see half the voltage there. So let's try that first. So I'm just going to say record and I go uh, 3.3, zero, let me stop it. So there we go. So uh, half of 3.3 is uh, 1.66, so there we go. It's 1.66 volts. I get that. That's what I'm measuring halfway in between right there. <coughs> okay. Now, in order to make a nice uh, res uh, RC circuit, I'm just going to take this uh, 100K uh, capacitor. It's a tantalum cap, and I'm just going to plug it in in parallel with that bottom resistor right there, being careful that since this thing is a, a polarized a capacitor that I have positive to positive and so on or else it won't work very well. And now I'll do the same experiment again. I'm just going to say record. There I go. I'll energize this thing. And so you see the voltage going up right here. And then uh, I turn the voltage off and I see the capacitor discharging. So let me stop this. Here we go. So we can charge the capacitor and we can discharge the capacitor. Okay, and so we can see it right there. It charges up to half of the input voltage and it discharges down to zero. It charges to half the input voltage because we placed the capacitor at the half voltage mark between there and zero. So anyways, I can now export this data if I want to. Now it's in an Excel file. I can go in the Excel file. I can do a log plot of this and I can find out the time constant and see that it works out the way it should.